we humans are creatures of habit. We tend to do things the same way and have uh, just, we fall into these rhythms, these ways of doing things. And, and uh, perception is really no different. When we, we look at the process of perception and the way that we approach perception, um, they're not that different. We do have some common tendencies in perception that are observable among humans. So let's talk about some of these and, and why it might be important for us to kind of avoid these tendencies. And uh, so some of the common tendencies in perception, first of all, I'll start with the snap judgments that we tend to um, want to, you know, this is part of probably our fight or flight response. We tend to want to make a decision very quickly. When we see something, we feel like we have to know it and we have to understand it. We have to interpret it immediately. Um, and sometimes that's not always, you know, the, the right thing to do. That can be very helpful and it can give us some good information, but we also need to make sure we're taking in appropriate levels of context and, and understanding that perhaps maybe we're not seeing the whole picture and there's some other things happening behind the scenes or, or that happened before we saw it or that, you know, whatever, um, the, it's okay to have an impression to gain that impression, but we want to avoid the, uh, that getting that cemented in too far with a snap judgment in perception, allow for alternative possibilities as well. We also have a tendency to lean very heavily and hang on to first impressions. First impressions are, are very powerful, and it's, it's good for us to remember, too, as communicators, that first impressions are important, that people pay attention to them, that uh, we want to make sure that we're doing what we can to make a good impression on the first impression in particular, because, though, people tend to hold on to those probably longer than we should. We need to be aware of that and, uh, and and be willing to allow our perception of a person or a, a situation or, or anything evolve over time and take in more information. As we get more data, we need to take that into account um, and realize that our first impression isn't always accurate for the positive or the negative. You know, sometimes our, our first impressions that we hold on to need to be loosened up a little bit. So gather that information at first, but be willing to allow other new information in as well to affect our perception as, as we get to know that, that person, that situation, that environment more and more. We also have a tendency to be more charitable than ourse to ourselves than we do to others. Um, if you fail a test in your class, it's probably because the teacher was too hard and the questions were unfair. If somebody else fails a quiz or a test, it's probably because they didn't study well enough or they didn't put in the work, right? Uh, we tend to be easier on ourselves than we do to others. It's a natural inclination, and there's, you know, nothing evil about it, but we need to be aware of that, that we need to try and, uh, you know, be honest with ourselves and also be maybe a little more charitable to others in that regard. We're very much influenced by our expectations. When we walk into a situation or meet a person, we are influenced by our expectations. This is why, you know, for one example, a lot of people are so disappointed when they meet celebrities, they meet their, their celebrity heroes or whatever, because they're not necessarily the same person that they expect. They've built this person up in their mind or the situation. You get your, you get your dream job and it's not exactly what you thought it was going to be. Uh, I remember when I was young, I wanted to be a DJ, a radio DJ, because I love music and I thought, how cool is it to be a DJ? You just pick all the music all day and you just go in and, and it's awesome. You just listen to music and play music all day. And that's, that's the greatest job in the world. Later on, when I actually got to work in radio, it was a great job, but I got to pick zero music. Uh, first of all, that was all directed by the program director. I didn't get to pick any of that. It was a lot of making sure this commercial played or recording this commercial during that song playing. And it, it just wasn't what I expected. It was a wonderful experience and I enjoyed it, but I, I was influenced by my ex expectations. When we get that with different situations and people, we need to be aware of that and guard against that and, uh, and temper our expectations so that we can take things as they are, not necessarily how we want them to be or expect them to be. We're also influenced by the obvious. Um, one of the best examples I know for, for this is when, when I was a kid on the playground, lots of times at resources in, in school, I would get mad because I would get in trouble. You know, the teacher would look over and they would see us get scrapping or whatever. And uh, they would, I would get in trouble and I would be like, but this kid started it. They started it. You didn't see the beginning of it. Well, that's not their fault. They saw what they saw. They saw, they turned around when they heard some commotion and, and the next thing they saw was me smacking some kid in the head, right? So that's what's obvious. That's what they were influenced by. They didn't see all the name calling and the kicking. Not that that excuses it, but all the stuff that happened before that. And so they're not going to be influenced by that. We are influenced by what's right in front of us and by what's big and bright and loud and so forth. And, and so we need to be aware of that tendency. And again, kind of guard against that just because it's obvious doesn't make it the most important or the most accurate piece of information. Finally, we assume others to be like us. There's, that's a natural tendency in communication in general, but certainly in perception. 
we just assume that everybody's like us, everybody in their right mind, right? Why would they not be? Because we're in our right mind, so they must agree as well. So we just make assumptions about about people and about their positions and so forth. Um, I remember when I was younger as well, one of my best friends growing up, I got an invitation to go with his family to Chicago, which was you know, three or four hours for us. And it was a big city. We're from a small town. That's a big city. But, and I was like, yeah, that's great. I'll go. And, and, uh, but I was used to being in the car for long periods of time. My grandparents lived probably eight hours away from us in either direction. And so we regularly were in the car for eight hours or we would drive for eight to 12 hours on vacation. I was in the car all the time. So going three, four hours was nothing to me, but they packed like it was the apocalypse. They weren't used to going further than like the 20 minutes to the next town over for groceries. So for them going that three hours, especially into a big city like like Chicago was a huge undertaking and a big deal. I just assumed that everybody was used to traveling like I was. And that was a good lesson for me to, to understand that, oh, wow, life's not the same for everybody. We all have different tendencies and different different uh, things that we're used to. And, and so I shouldn't just assume that everybody else has the same perspective or the same uh, experiences that I do. So we need to keep that in mind in perception, too, that you can't just make assumptions and assume that everybody is like us or is on the same page as us. We need to, to, have to be aware of that. So most importantly in all these things is that we need to break the cycle. We need to um, break away from these tendencies, be aware of them so we can guard against them, and then open ourselves up to the possibility of other things within those perceptions. That'll make us, within those perceptions that we have, that'll make us much more effective communicators, much more empathetic to other people, and much more able to process situations and, and behave appropriately and effectively communicate that way when those situations come up. If you have questions about, about any of this, about perception in general, about our tendencies and perception, please feel free to email me. Uh, I'd love to hear from you in that way. Uh, in the meantime, I hope that you will be more aware of these things and, and guard against them so that you see things maybe a little more in the way that other people are seeing things and not uh, leap to automatic conclusions when we come up against things uh, and that involve different perceptions.